The Detroit Lions had a secondary overhaul this offseason, bringing in C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Emmanuel Mosley, and Cam Sutton. And then we drafted Brian Brent. So we thought that our secondary was going to be pretty stout going into the 2023 NFL season. And it looked pretty good. I mean, we had guys back there going to face the Kansas City Chiefs, and we were able to pull out the victory. But then our coveted possession of the offseason, C.J. Gardner-Johnson tears his pectoral muscle in the game against the Seattle Seahawks, finishes that game, and then we fear to be on season-ending IR coming very shortly. But then he defied all expectations, did not go on season-ending IR, instead goes on short, short-term short IR, and has been teasing coming back for the past couple of weeks. Now, Dan Campbell said after that win against the Chicago Bears, when C.D. Gardner-Johnson, C.D. Gardner-Johnson, there you go, C.D. Deuce, a.k.a. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, says that he'll be back in a couple of weeks the next time the Lions face the Bears. Dan Campbell said, I like to talk to his doctor because he did not see that coming. But... I'm not saying that C.J. Gardner-Johnson knows better, but did he hint to potentially the returning to the Detroit Lions lineup in a few weeks? This is coming from Pride of Detroit this morning, and this is from coming from C.J. Gardner-Johnson's Instagram, or you can see there, C.D. CD Deuce. He simply says, December 20th, Lion, right? So what does that mean? Does that mean that that is when he comes off? IR and his 21 day window opens or will it open before that and he's able to come back and play the last three games of the NFL season now my assumption would be that CJ Garner Johnson he said this was probably early October that he intends to be back for the playoffs and then we saw him we saw him working out a couple of weeks ago and like man this guy is looking really good could he come back sooner than later? Then he, of course, does the, 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 the bit that Dan Campbell addressed last week. So if we're looking at the 20th, what day is that? That is three weeks from yesterday. That is also a Wednesday, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the beginning of the new league week. I want to say the league week begins on a Wednesday. That's also the day that we get the first kind of injury report for the game coming up. Now, if C.J. Gardner-Johnson is released and is that 21-day window open, that means that we intend to have him back for the playoffs. Now, look at it like this. We, we face the Minnesota Vikings on the 24th, then we play the Dallas Cowboys on the 30th, and then we end our season that first weekend in January. So that would be three weekends right there, three games. We're going to have a playoff game. We're going to host one. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Could C.J. Gardner-Johnson come back by our first playoff game? And if he was able to do that, that would be the original date that he said from the very beginning shortly after the injury. Or is this when he could be cleared, meaning his 21-day window could open coming up, maybe after this game against the New Orleans Saints, and then he comes back for that first game against the um Minnesota Vikings Christmas Eve. So I don't know what this is, but at first I thought maybe it had to do something with him changing his name because he said that he legally had put the paperwork in to do that. But then I, I looked and I said, the lion, the lion means, so it has to have something to do with the Detroit lions. Then I did some investigating work and saw that the 20th is a Wednesday. The Wednesday starts the new league week. Could CJ Gardner Johnson be back by the last three games of the season make when we make that playoff push. Now I'll put it like this. Tracy Walker is playing very well. And I find it hard that of course, CJ wouldn't start. And it's possible that Tracy starts and CJ Gardner Johnson comes in maybe on some plays or something like that. As he, we work him back into the lineup. That means that we're going in. If we're going into the playoffs and he'll have three weeks of game games under his belt, two to three weeks, or even one. He'll have some actual practice before we get into the playoff game. He can help us win that elusive Ford Field playoff game. The one thing we've only done one time in the past 60 some odd years. So could CJ Gardner Johnson be on the way back for the Detroit Lions? We have six games left. If he's going to come back to play against the 
Minnesota Vikings on Christmas Eve. I would assume his 21-day window will open up between now and next week if he's going, or that could be the day that it opens. And if he does that, then he truly was a man of his word and got back for the playoffs. I think he could wind up being the difference maker in the playoffs. Uh, We didn't get to see a big sample size with the Detroit Lions, but his time uh, with the the team he just came from, with the Philadelphia Eagles that one year, spent some time with the Saints as well. So, I mean, this guy is definitely an impact player. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe him being back in could, could help spark Brian Branch as well. Branch seems to have lost something, some type of mojo, man, ever since he was injured in week four and he's been back. So let me know in the comments below. CJ Gardner-Johnson, December 20th, Lion Emoji. Does that mean that he'll be back? Does that mean that is when his 21-day window would start? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Either way, that means we're going to see him for the playoffs if indeed this has anything to do with him playing, which because of the Lion, I'm going to say it does. So shout out to CJ Gardner-Johnson. We're talking about at this moment, coming back, we are talking about what? October, November, December. It will be three months and three days since his injury if he is able to practice Then And and that's a phenomenal work ethic way to come back. Usually a season ending injury is what a pectoral muscle usually is. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We hit 16.2 today trying to get to, let's see if we can get to 17 K by January 1st of 2024 with that push to 20,000 by the time the NFL season ends. And hopefully that'll be, the Super Bowl for your Detroit Lions. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.